a dust bath. Oh my gosh. Guarding the dirt. Hi everyone. You might remember a couple of months ago, I put out a short video called Spinning Bones and I'll link that right here. We made that video not long after we left Red Hill Fiber Mill and Alpaca Farm in Tazewell, Indiana. Well, in today's video, we're going to see how this beautiful fiber is made. And then we're going to also meet the alpaca herd and we're gonna see the great people behind Red Hill Fiber Mill and that's Ty and Lindsay Higgins. So let's go. The Red Hill Fiber Mill and Alpaca Farm is located in Tazewell, Indiana. It is situated in beautiful Indiana farmland near Indianapolis to the north, Nashville, Tennessee to the south, Cincinnati, Ohio to the east, and St. Louis, Missouri to the west. It is a harvest host and boondockers welcome host site and is accessible from with any size rig. We drive a 38-foot Tiffin and didn't have any problem. We did disconnect the Jeep before driving onto the grassy area they have available for parking. I'm Ty Higgins and we're at Red Hill Fiber Mill. This is my wife, Lindsay, and we raise alpacas. And uh, we do a little bit of rescuing and we do a little breeding. And we also own a fiber mill and we do some fiber processing. Yeah, we don't just process thing. alpaca, we do every kind of wool. I do yak, I do camel, I do poodle, nice. I do oh, really? nice. angora rabbit, angora goat. Angora goat. <laughs> I mean, we can almost do, the only thing I can't do right now is buffalo and uh, quivet. We, can't do, we can, but we can't process it from the raw to fiber because it has to be dehaired and I don't have a dehair. Right. <laughs> well, hey, Watch out, Liam. Hi, baby. Now pick up your, no, pick up your sticks, baby. Pick up your sticks. Ow. Oh, I know. Bonnie's like, no, get out of my way. Oh, we're going to have to get another bottle one, baby. Hi. Have you ever been inside of an alpaca feeding frenzy? Well, that's pretty much where we found ourselves. See, alpaca eat grass and hay, but they do like a grain treat, especially when visitors come. Ty and Lindsay grabbed four grain buckets and handed them to us and all of a sudden we were surrounded. Happily, we were not on the menu, just the grain in our hands. There was a lot of eating and crowding and laughing, and it was so much fun. <laughs> they, they, they push each other out Hi. of the way. Oh yeah. So, like, um, you know the difference between alpaca spitting and llama spitting? Llamas will come right at you and spit in your face just uh -huh. to do it. They spit towards each other, Mostly over here, um, here, whoa, 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 time out. There but we go. They usually tilt their heads back <laughs> and they'll spit in the air or they'll spit towards their friend. Why would you do that? Don't do that to your friend. You guys, hit the clothes button. Hit the clothes at the bottom. <laughs> guys are hilarious. Oh my gosh. What, Tom? Mm -hmm. What? He's <laughs> saying. <laughs> Don't take my food away. <laughs> here, do you want some? Here, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. You've had been hogging here. You've been hogging. <laughs> you, you can't decide who gets it. <laughs> they decide who gets it. You can. <laughs> okay, we're losing it here. <laughs> Holy smokes. And there's the chicken. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Oh, yeah, she's the queen of Oh, I bet she is. We still got some. Do you want a little bit? Do you not eat it? Do you eat some? 
Do you dabble? I think we might have to. Do you want to dabble? Yeah, I'm watching that. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right, Bonnie, here you. Is this, this is Bonnie, right? Yeah. Ty and Lindsay invited us into the fiber mill to see how alpaca fleece is processed. As we entered, we were able to see the fun little gift shop in the front where you can find alpaca products produced both locally and internationally. Oh, is this the mill? This I have never seen one. We wash and dry here. So, uh, this oh. is Carmelita's fleece, the <gasps> mom out there with the baby. It hasn't been washed yet, it's just we skirted it. Is there, they don't have a lot of lanolin like sheep do. They don't have any. They don't have They're any. dry fiber. So, so that is fiber. sheared off the animal and we just skirted it. And, but yeah, so it's pretty soft. Yeah. And it's going to get beautiful. put with some um, camel and mulberry silk. So. Wash, rinse, and then spin cycle just to get water out, and then we go in the drying rack. And just fluff it out onto there? Yeah. So and then you cart it from there? You cart it straight from there. Now wool okay. will scour, and then we'll take over to the picker, pick it, and then I'll tumble it to get all the loose dirt sure. out. Sure. And then I'll, re I'll rewash it after I get everything opened up. And sure. Uh, get it nice and clean. So, wow. Carter, um, it's a McDermott. This is a Carter? Yep. Yeah. That is way bigger than the one I have. Yeah, it was, so it's built in uh, Michigan mm -hmm. um, by Stonehenge Fibers. You can so, open it up. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. We have kids, so we have to have a... So these are the motors down here? Yep. So they're driving different work. Each motor drives a different working set, and everything's on variable speed drive, so I can change the speed of each uh, worker to the main drum. And does that depend on the kind of wool that you're toward the... Oh, yeah, it, it, it helps you really dial in so you don't get that nipping, that breakage, uh, especially with the super fine fleeces, you know, the mm -hmm. 14 micron and below. And then we, it has a burr beater, so it'll automatically um, kick out. As you can see, it'll kick out oh, stuff the... we didn't get out, or burrs. Oh. Now, pack guy tend to get it all out. The wool right. can be... Wool can be dicey, yeah. yeah. And then over here is something so else. So go from oh. the carter. Oh. This is a pin tractor. Oh. Uh, so it actually drafts, right now we're getting ready to run around four drums. Um, they'll combine, it'll comb it all out, that basically makes comb top. Makes, um, makes what? Comb, oh, comb top. top. Yeah, so Which is my favorite. <laughs> it'll align all the fibers. We can change the ratio um, so you can get thicker, thinner, you know. Right. Um, we have it set to a five to one ratio, so for every yard we put in, we get five yards out. Oh wow, okay. So we have it set up. So this is um, some Shetland, Surrey, 50-50 uh, Shetland. May I? Gotcha. Yeah. So we'll run four drums to one drum. I already ran, this was four drums, already pin drafted. Mm -hmm. uh, four drums to one drum, and then I'll draft this to one drum, and then I'll take these two drums and draft them back to themselves. Okay. So they're gonna go, uh, uh, no. It's a, a heavy, or a heavy fingering, like sport weight is what okay. it's gonna be. So, so this one here, you're going to run through again? Yeah, I'll run these these four drums. They're 40 yards a piece. I'll run them through at a five to one. I'll get 200 yards out. There's 200 yards in there. Uh -huh. So I'll get another drum, and then these two drums will go back through together. And we'll draft that 200 yards, five to one. You'll get 1,000 yards. Then we have the McDermott spin frame. We can spin and fly on here. Um, so this these two rollers work like you're hand drafting. So the roving goes through like this, and then we're... so this it spins at a constant. This mm -hmm. speeds up or slows down to get your yarn weight. Okay. And this is what you set your twist. So you okay. can speed up or tighten or loosen your twist. Okay. Now this is going to spin a single. So we'll spin okay. all. We'll fill up a bobbin and then we'll come back and fly. Okay. I'm adjusting the draft. Okay. So it got smaller. Yeah. Has the lead on. Uh, What's that? Mm. So this is a flyer. Okay. As this goes up and down, your bobbin spins, it just yep. aligns your fiber. So okay. you can change the weight and it'll wrap it tighter or looser. 
Okay. Um, if it's if the flyer's too light, it'll toss it across the room. That's why it's called a flyer. <laughs> if it's too heavy, it's going to wrap your bobbin really super tight, okay. and you'll probably get some stretch in your fiber. So mm -hmm. there's a balancing act there. That is very cool. So. Great, thank you. That's so awesome. It's important to point out, we did edit the tour in the interest of time. There is a lot more to the process than what we were able to show you here. So if you're interested, we highly recommend you take a trip to Red Hill Fiber Mill and see it for yourself. The end products of fiber milling are either roving like this that is ready to be hand spun or needle felted, or if they spin the roving on the motorized spin frame, they end up with yarn they make for specific customers, sell in their shop, or sell online. Alpaca fleece is soft, warm, and not the least bit itchy. If you've never tried anything made from alpaca fleece, we highly recommend you do. Farm tour tickets are available online at redhillfiber.com. The cost for a tour is $10 per person and children under five are free. Tours can be scheduled for groups as well. And all the links are in the description. So what exactly are alpaca? Alpaca are members of the camelid family and like llamas are related to the camel. They are native to South America and have been domesticated for thousands of years. Now, while llama are bred specifically to be pack animals, smaller alpaca are raised for their soft, luxurious fleece. They are relatively easy to raise. However, as Ty and Lindsay taught us, they do not make good pets. They are livestock and as such need space and a herd of other alpaca in order to thrive. The story of Little Midnight Surrender highlights this very graphically. We just got a one day old baby last night. The baby, yes. we did get the mom. You did get the mom, okay. Yeah, so she's a first time mom, so she's rejecting the baby. Oh. Um, so we have them pinned in a, in a pen. We're trying to get them to bond. Mm -hmm. She won't let him nurse, so we have to put her in a chute and uh -huh. stabilize her and then put him under there. And he will nurse from her. Sure. She just doesn't want to let him because she doesn't know what's going on. Right. On the night previous to our arrival, an alpaca owner relinquished a mother and newborn baby, called a Kriya, to Ty and Lindsay. The mother was refusing to care for her baby, and he had to be cared for by Ty throughout the night. Sadly, Baby Midnight Surrender's mom continued to reject him, and none of the other alpaca moms would foster him. A few days after we left, Lindsay posted this on Facebook. This sweet boy fought so hard but ultimately, it was his time to go. He was peaceful at the end and went with the storm. Rest in peace, sweet baby. Now, while there are certainly sad moments in farming, there is a lot of fun and joy, and maybe even more so among alpaca because they are so darn cute. Remember how we mentioned that Red Hill produces wool ready for hand spinning? Well, they made a wish of mine come true when they opened the enclosure and let me spin with the alpaca. A little grain on the ground around me and the adults gathered really fast. Now, while they couldn't have cared less about the wheel, the little ones were much more intrigued. Well, that was a sneeze I felt all the way over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good. <laughs> They're like, what is this thing? Can I eat it? What's this little one's name? That is Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck and Ironclad were fascinated with the movement of the flyer on the spinning wheel. I was careful, however, to stop the wheel whenever they got close, as I didn't want those curious little noses to get bumped. After several joyful minutes of spinning with my new friends, 
Ty and Lindsay turned on a low sprinkler for the girls and babies to enjoy. The sprinklers helped them cool down during the hot and humid Indiana summers. The water, along with the diatomaceous earth dust baths, keep the herd comfortable, clean, and happy. And Carmelita decided the water was all hers. We had such a great time at Red Hill Fiber Mill and Alpaca Farm. Thank you, Ty, Lindsay, your cute kids, and of course, all the alpacas. We will be back.